With this exercise I'm going to show you some changes with the, uh, the sketch lines. So if I start a sketched line, so you see the, uh, the slider labels there, and I can tab through them, and if I change a value here, this angle to 40, if I press enter, and then that locks that uh, value in, so if I can move the cursor around and you can see the angle doesn't change. So I can tab through the values again, come back to 40, and I can type in another value, press enter again, and it changes the value then. And if I press escape, it then unlocks all the values and I can move around. So if I put 45 in again, press enter, and you can see it locks it in. If I tab through the values again, come to the height there, if I type a value of 40 in there, press enter, and I've put, a, put enough variables in to be able to construct the geometry. So the changes, so circles, if I sketch circles, you're going to see some changes here. Look, so if I start with a center point, you see I get a dynamic preview. If I pick a second position, it then draws a circle. So I'll do the same thing again. I'll start from the edge this time. If I put the second point in position, press the space bar, you can see it tabs through the options. Now I need to pick a second point to construct that circle where I want it. Now, another one from an edge position, second point press the space bar, pick that, and now I'm going to pick a third point, so I'm now putting a circle through three points, one, two, three, so three solutions with one command. So I'll just tidy this up, and there we go, finished item. Now this is a new command, offset elements, so we've got profiles here at the top, we've got some line elements, some circles, some concatenated lines and arcs, polyline, a curve there, and I've also got a solid and surface as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to offset with a new command all these fun all these pieces of geometry. So offset elements under edit function. So I'll select the lot and in one go I'll offset all that geometry. So both the edges of the solids and the sheet body. So some of the variables we've got we can offset the distance we can put in how many copies we wish to have. So I can increase that. And I'll just get a dynamic preview. So I can reverse the side of the offset. I can put it on both sides. So let's just reduce these values a little bit. So some of the functions we've got in here. Now if I pick a line element we can put a variable offset on, and this only actually works on the single line elements. I can put in a number there, and you get some sliders here to change the variable offset. We can also, with uh, lines, we can change them to be segments instead of actual lines, so they're construction lines instead. And if we select just circles, you can see there's a offset with a slider but it also shows us the reference of the uh, of the radius that we selected to start with. Let me just swap it over to the next one. 15 there is the reference size. 